Hey everybody, it's Paul with Reporting Live from my sofa. And as you can see in the background, we're still going rogue, but that's how we roll now. We're back in our hometown of Lowe's Hardware Parking Lot. Y'all, we have been all over this town today doing uh, some rogue filming, if you will. There's been so much to film today, so many updates. I literally have not stopped. I'm just like, oh my gosh. So that being said, for this very important uh, Jennifer Dulos case update, I am treating myself to the new McFlurry, the Stroopwaffle McFlurry. Look at that, look at that, y'all. I couldn't help myself. I had to leave the house. I was like, I'm gonna go film this video. And then there's a McDonald's there. Uh, Alan told me about this. She said, oh my gosh, you have to try it. I said, our little McDonald's won't have that. They do. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. It tastes like a waffle. It literally, it's, it's a waffle. It's a melted waffle. It's so good. Mmm. Mmm. This is amazing. So, let's get into why we're all here. The Jennifer Dulos case, there's been some updates today, and y'all, this is some stuff's getting ready to happen with this, y'all. Major stuff's getting ready to happen. This is gonna hit the press and it's gonna be hard. So, a station today, a, a news station, a reporter basically stopped by the office of Michelle Traconis' lawyer, and it sounds like he stalked the building all day long, and I'm gonna be looking at my notes here. Uh, they saw some, some uh, Connecticut state troopers going into the office of the lawyer for Michelle Draconis, uh, who is, you know, Fotis Dulos, uh, that's his girlfriend. They've both been charged, and you know, that's who we're dealing with. They were seen carrying equipment typically used to take statements of suspects. I mean, these four guys, they were carrying in all this stuff. A uh, short time later, state attorney for the Stamford Norwalk, for Stamford Norwalk, Richard Colongo arrived. His office is the one prosecuting the case and supervising the Dulos investigation. Uh, later, Traconis was seen walking out of the office. So, basically, this is all looking like she is flipping, which is obviously what they wanted her to do. I mean, it's the easiest thing. Mm. Mm. That's good. It has little broken pieces of waffle or something in it. The easiest thing to do is to get her to talk. And they probably have her painted in a corner. I mean, basically, it's like prison time or talk. Now, who knows how involved she is? And I think that's what's going to be interesting because they have her on basically assisting and getting rid of evidence, tampering with evidence. But, I mean, if she's involved in the actual murder, I mean, she might, you know, we're going to have to say what kind of deal she's going to get. If any, well, she might not. But I mean, if she just was like along for the ride type thing, he did something, then, you know, she might be the missing key element. So, anyways, here are some other quick updates. Uh, on Wednesday evening, several state police troopers were seen going to the Farmington home of Jennifer's estranged husband, Fotis. Uh, police had executed a search warrant for the Jefferson Crossing home Wednesday evening. So, no telling what they're going to find there. Uh, since the case began, police have served search warrants on several properties owned by Fotis. I remember he owns the building company Four Group. Um, police have been led. They've been searching this trash facility in Hartford. Um, it, they're looking for her remains at Maxim Road location. And so, I mean, essentially, it's like, of course, we're going to hold out hope, but they're using the words remains. I mean, this is not looking good. Uh... State police were seen rummaging through the plant for several hours, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, they're saying that the sources are saying this could take days to look for stuff. Um, they saw detectives wearing hazmat uniforms. So, I mean, they have reason to believe that, you know, her remains are there or somewhere. I mean, they already have all this bloody evidence that they found with her confirmed blood on it. So, you do the math. Um... So anyways, I just wanted to come on here. I wanted to let y'all know. This is two thumbs up, y'all. Two thumbs up. Absolutely. Get it. Get it while the getting is good. I don't know how long they're going to offer this. Um, y'all know my feelings about McDonald's. But y'all, this one, this is a winner. 
This is a wiener. Um, anyways, I hope everybody's doing good. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.